Hey, what's up, YouTube? And today's tutorial is in response to David Neff 2011, who asked me to do a tutorial on how to install a, a, a MyBB theme and a MyBB plugin. So, before we get started, we need to go and find a MyBB theme and a MyBB plugin. So, I'll just type in MyBB themes. We'll go to my BB Central. Oops, wrong site. Uh, this site usually has some pretty decent themes, and it's nice because you can uh, demo the themes before you download them. So you know what you're really getting because pictures don't always provide the best uh, the best I guess feel for what the themes really gonna look like so I'll just go ahead and download this uh, Rexio Elegant theme I guess and I while we're here I'll look up uh, I don't know why I type mods um, that should work We'll just go to mods and plugins, and we'll look in the index page. I guess I'm sure we can find a a decent one. Maybe not. Um, we'll just go back. Um, here, um, there's a theme on here I I've used before. Called the uh, the news theme. Wrong, wrong one. Uh, it'll it'll display a a, a news message at the top of your uh, forum. Uh, so if you have any important or uh, pertinent information you want to uh, tell your uh, members, then that's a good way to do it. So I'll just extract these to my desktop and we'll get to the process of um, the process of installing them. Um, we're going to install the theme first uh, beans it takes the longest so we'll go back into FileZilla um, I trust you guys know how to uh, connect to uh, your um, FTP server and where you want to do now is you'll want to navigate to wherever you have your uh, your um, your files extracted to and uh, we'll go ahead and go here to the rescue theme um, I'm gonna have to do something real quick uh, uh, my BB themes come with something called a XML file an XML document, and this pretty much is uh, what the website reads, and we need to upload that to the actual admin control panel. We don't want to upload that straight to the um, site. It won't hurt anything, honestly, but uh, there's really no point in doing it. So um, we'll just go go ahead and drag that in there and we'll process the queue and it uh, should upload the um, all the files to it so um, while we're waiting for this to uh, uh, transfer and process the files I'll go ahead and pause the video and we'll meet back up when we're done alright guys um, we're pretty much done processing all the files um, we have one file left uh, it's kind of hanging up. It's been a little stubborn. Uh, not quite sure why that is. Um, there we go. All right. So now we uh, we have the theme uploaded. We'll want to go to our uh, our website and we'll want to go to the admin panel. 
Now this is the uh, example website I uploaded in the first uh, video. Um, I don't know why I did that. I remember my account name. Uh, this could pose a problem. Um, hang on, guys. Let me pause the video. I haven't uh, used that uh, site in a while, so uh, that's why I don't really remember uh, my password um, and account details um, because it's just for tutorial purposes. It wasn't uh, planned to be an actual site, so uh, just just hang in there. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I finally got logged in. Uh, I forgot that the YouTube account name was, uh, or the forum's uh, account name was YouTube. So now that we're in the forum, we need to go to Templates and Style. And we're going to go to Import a Theme. And we're going to choose a file. And that XML document I was talking about or earlier is the file that we're going to upload to the site now. So we're going to upload that Rescue theme. And what you want to do is you're going to want to ignore version compatibility and you can name the theme whatever you want doesn't really matter I'm just going to leave it as is and I'm going to import the theme so the theme should be imported correctly now so if I go to uh, themes and I uh, click this little arrow here it'll set the, the theme to the default uh, theme and I should be able to um, uh, the, the, th the theme should be installed correctly now As you can see, the uh, theme is installed correctly now, and it uh, all in all isn't that bad of a theme. Uh, it could use a little bit of work, but uh, that's how you install a theme. Uh, it could look better with a logo up here. Um, so now we'll get uh, on to installing the um, uh, installing the plugin. So. Um, the name of our plugin was news message and it'll have a readme text so it, it, it usually tells you how to install the th uh, plugin but these two files right here the PNG files they just go into the root directory of your um, site and then you go into this uh, INC folder and means it says INC then you go to the INC folder here kind of timing out here Jesus all right and um, being it says plugins we're going to go into the plugins folder and we'll just drag this in there and we'll upload it so now in our admin control panel we'll go to our plugins and you'll see you'll see that uh, news message 1.3 is there, and we need to activate it. And now that it's activated, when we reload our form, we'll have this little thing here that says enter your text. So if we go back and we go to settings, and we go to news message, it gives you the option to enter whatever text you want. So hello YouTube. And then you can change the the background to uh, um, all black if you want, and you can change the border of it, and you can has a bunch of settings of whether you want to show the message, uh, show the message on only the index page, or if you just want to show it for members or guests. So we'll save those settings, and then we'll go back and reload it, and you'll see that the um, the background has been changed and you can no longer see your text because the text was black so obviously black on black isn't going to mix but uh... you can mess with those settings and stuff but those that's how you install a um... uh... my bb theme and a my bb plugin so uh... hope this helped and uh... comment rate and subscribe